The first few days of November have been fairly eventful. For one, the Allies have completely gained control of Belgium and continue to advance on the Rhine. On November 6, 1944, an ME-262 was shot down while landing at Ackermer Airfield in Germany. After this, orders were issued to have Focke-Wulf 190s flying cover while jets are taking off and landing. Many ME-262s have been lost over the past few days, including some of our best pilots. These recent events have me nervous for sure. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more IL-2 Stromovic and our ME-262 career. As you can see, I'm not the flight leader today. Reinhold Schauer is, and he is taking off now. We need to get our jet ready, lower flaps slightly, turn on our lights, everything's looking good, begin to throttle up. Not too quickly, don't want to blow out our engines. You all know the drill by this point. Nice and easy. Still have my brakes held down. Okay, and we should be golden. Release the brakes, and we're rolling. Yeah, so welcome back in the ME262 as we continue our campaign here. Today we are obviously hitting more targets. I'm going to pull up the map near here, uh, just by the town of Gimp. So it should be fairly interesting. I did not take the 500 uh, kilogram bomb this time around. We just have a 250. Well, it should be easier to take off, right? Okay, nice and easy. There we go. Airborne. Gear up. Okay, there's the flight leader. Flaps up. Lights off. Okay, perfect. I'm probably throttle back here momentarily. Once we catch up the flight lead. Actually, I'll go ahead and do it. Now we're reaching 400 kilometers per hour. Perfect. A lot of people have been asking when I'm going to transfer to a bomber interceptor uh, squadron. And I will be doing that fairly soon. Pat Wilson campaign generator only has a handful of interceptor squadrons. So uh, I'm waiting for one of them to really become available so I can join it. Uh, IL-2 Great Battles doesn't actually have four engine bombers in the game like B-17s or B-24s or anything like that. So we'll mostly be going up against uh, B-25s and A-20s. Those are what's currently in the game at the moment anyway. There are more twin engine bombers coming with Battle of Normandy. But um, I figured I'd, I'd do something different with the ground attack instead of just intercepting uh, twin engine bombers all the time. If there were four engine bombers, you know, high altitude fighting, I'd be more inclined to do it as that'd be a more uh, authentic experience, I suppose. But it will happen sooner or later. I am, uh, we're progressing nicely in this campaign and we haven't died yet. So I do expect we will see some bomber interceptor uh, missions in the near future. Uh, stay tuned for that. Should be quite exciting. But for now, I am enjoying ground attack in the ME-262. It's something you don't really, uh, don't really see <laughs> uh, all that often. So, it is fun. It is interesting. And it's a quirky plane to fly, even though I'm not really good at it. But we'll see what today has in store for us. Hopefully no Tempest and no P-47 swooping down on me. Although I did manage to get a lucky shot on that P-47 in the last episode, which was quite hilarious. We'll see if I can pull that off again. I'm, I'm not going to count on it, though. Okay, let's go ahead and throttle up a bit more. And, yeah, we're heading out. Nice and early in the morning. Quite a beautiful day. So, with that all the way... So with all that out of the way, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, cut now and get back to you folks when we are over the front lines as per usual. Okay, we are very close to the mission objective now. We are just passing over the Rhine. Well, we just passed over it, I guess. There's flight read there. 
and I believe this town we are coming up on is Cleve. Yep. Uh, our mission should be, our mission objectives should be here just to the left. Let's go ahead and uh, bring up our gun sight. Alt F. There we go. Oh, I have the sun filter up. Lower that. I guess I've, I've never shown this off. Most German aircraft do have this little sun filter. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot, but uh, it's there, just in case you were ever ever curious about it, I suppose. Now you, now you know. Go ahead and lower that. And form up nicely with flight lead here. Try not to hit his aircraft. And go nice and easy. Practice some formation flying. Uh, those aircraft passing off to our left. Oh, geez. Lag spike. That's that's odd. Uh, those aircraft passing off to our left. Those are Focke-Wulf 190s. Those are our escorts. Happy to see them here at the rendezvous point. Hopefully they'll be able to tangle with whatever comes our way. I have to say, of all the aircraft that uh, we encounter, I'm most scared of the Tempest. And I'm not sure how Focke-Wulf A8s are going to handle them, but we'll see if there's even Tempest here. We haven't seen one in a while. It must have been P-47s, it seems like. I guess P-47s and Tempest. I'll throttle up, trying to get back with my flight lead. They just called out enemy fighters. It's like they're meandering around over there. I'm not seeing any enemy aircraft, or another flight of aircraft for that matter. It's just me and the Fock Wolves there. Keep my head on a swivel, though. Not want to get bounced. Not going too fast right now either. We're cruising at around 400 kilometers an hour. Okay, apparently range is one kilometer. I can't make that out. That looks like a focke wolf to me. It's hanging out around where the focke wolves were. I'm nervous. I'm on edge. Oh, hello. What was that? Oh, Tempest. Okay, throttle up. We may have to run. Yeah, they're swinging back around. Tempests are bloody fast, too, so. Yeah, where's our target objective? It's to the left. All right, let's go get them. There's an airfield. I can just drop our bomb on that. There's the Tempest. Ooh, I'm not a, not excited about that. They're closing pretty quickly. Um, yeah, the airfield will have to do. I want to drop my bomb on something. Go for those oil tanks, those fuel tanks right there. I'm gonna save my cannon ammunition as well. Hello, bombs away. Oh, those aren't even, I don't even think those are oil tanks. Oh, and I missed anyway, I was going way too fast. Cause we're just building as well. At least they have a hole to fill. Let's swing back around. Tracer fire. Looks like the Tempests are mingled with the 262s. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and then a 262 is on fire. Oh jeez. He's yeah, he's flaming, the fire is building and he's spinning out of control. Try to get this guy. Nothing. 
that's on my six. Those are the two six twos down there. I was blacking out. As long as one's not on my six o'clock, I'll I'll dance with them. Once they're on my six, we're running. One took a pot shot at me. Oh, I, I think. Look at all of them. What the hell is wrong with my game? There we go. I feel like I've, I've been having issues this mission with uh, just stuttering and stuff. Okay, that Tempest is on my six o'clock. It's time to get out of here. Let's head towards our airfield. There we go. Adios. It's been fun. I can barely see it. Hey, oh, oh, there's three of them. Not very happy with me, it looks like. I should be able to outrun them here. Oh, there's not just, there's literally five or six, seven even. A lot of Tempests. They're all mad at me. Hey, there's anti-aircraft up ahead. Following our radio compass all the way back home. They drag them over friendly anti-air. Oh, are they catching up? I can't tell. They're not taking shots just yet. This is uh, this is concerning. We'll see. Oh, I think they are catching up. Okay, full throttle all the way. Fly nice and level. Looking good. I haven't taken shots just yet. Those Fonkel, they're the Fonkel wolves are messing with like one of them way back there. This is such a huge flight of Tempest. I guess this is uh, the late war experience. <laughs> oh, are they still gaining? We'll see, they haven't shot at me yet, so I don't need to... Okay, I'm dragging them over flak. Flight lead wants his first 262 kill, it would seem. Okay, I think we're putting distance between us now. Hopefully they don't follow me all the way back home. I cannot tangle with that. I can't even count all. Let's try to, it's like two, four, six, seven possibly? Seven plus? Certainly not my idea of a, a good time. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, well I guess we'll just head on home now. They are taking anti-aircraft fire, but Uh, they're not hitting them. I'd love to see one get wiped out now, but Okay, well, we're just gonna head on home. Hopefully they don't follow us all the way back They did fix the bug supposedly where they uh, follow you all the way back to your home airfield um, So we'll we'll see if that that is the case I'll cut now and get back to you folks soon Well, we've made it to our home airfield and I'm not seeing anything. So I think we shook them I may have turned back there. So I, I think we're safe. I think we're okay. I'm gonna begin to throttle down so we can come in for a landing. Hopefully they're not in the sun or something <laughs> waiting for me to do this and they're gonna take me out. That would be mighty unfortunate. Let's throttle down. I definitely need to kill off airspeed. We're going very fast. And hopefully I don't bump my head on landing this time around. Well, that was a very uh, interesting message, mission. Mostly me running away from the most terrifying allied plane of the war. For us, anyway. Uh, 
I'm not seeing anything. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled just in case they're behind me and I lost them. I'll circle around. I do want to have a proper landing this time. Yes, if they do try to disrupt my landing, I'll be on a uh, landing approach as well. Uh, okay. I can't... Those are those are two six twos. I think. Yeah, those are two six twos. We're okay. That's all good. Got a little nervous there. What's up, Pi? Those are not two six twos. So they did come follow us. I don't know what to do now. How's fuel? We could run around them, or I could try to try to land really quick and end the mission. The problem is, they haven't given up this far, so far. I doubt they're going to. Okay, throttle up. Try to drag them over our anti-air. Break. Come here, you bastards. Oh, jeez. I, I did not even see them all back there. That's crazy. Oh, gosh. One's lining up. Come on, anti-aircraft gunners. Let's go. Do something. Please. There you go. Now they're shooting at them. That's what I'm talking about. This <laughs> What an airfield ray. That's kind of cool. It's like they all want to kill me. I think I'm the only 262 that took pot shots at one of them, so they're probably pissed off about that. I, I mean, understandably so. I can get it. My worry is... I cannot do this forever. One on my six o'clock. Okay, run. Nice and level. I think our best bet is to do rings around the airfield though. Try to, hopefully the anti-air gunners will take a few of them out. Problem is we do bleed off airspeed in these turns. Well, we'll find out if this is a mistake or not. Oh, one of them's smoking. Okay, there. It looks like they're turning away. One crash. Let's go for this one. Oh, jeez. That was a little too close. I think I got a hit. Look at that. Or was that flak just way too close for comfort? Guess I should be recording this, huh? I can get some cool cinematic shots. Look at this, absolute madness. That's pretty cool though. Six is clear. Except this fellow. Trying to get a shot. How's fuel? Getting there. There's our Tempest friend. It's getting a little close. Just run nice and level. Play the airfield defenses. It looks like all the anti aircraft gunners are awake now. Oh, these guys going in for landings? You crazy, crazy guys. It looks like a lot of the Tempests have been uh, turned away. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything else now. I think we may be relatively safe, but I thought that the first time. We're currently going 750 kilometers an hour, and our left fuel lamp is on, or low fuel lamp. Uh, the right one's still okay. We have more fuel in the right tank than the left, which is interesting. I, I figured the fuel consumption would be um, almost the same for both, but I'm not sure why that is. 
Anyway, we're going to come in for our landing. We don't really have much of a choice. Now, in real life, there would be uh, escorts flying overhead, covering us as we came in for our landings. And in an ideal world, our focke Wolf escort would have tangled with these Tempests and gotten them off our backs. Let's see, uh, some ME262s managed to uh, get down, as you can see, with the landing lights. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, fuck me. I shut my engine off. Let's see if I can try to restart it here. Okay, first one started. Yeah, let's try to start up engine number one now. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, we started a fire. Cut that off. Fuck me. Let's go into a dive, try to put this out. Well, here we are in Pat Wilson's campaign generator. I guess we were ended up being killed by our own engine. I'm not sure how I started that. The, I did the exact same thing with engine number one that I did to engine number two and got it started. So I don't know what happened there. Obviously some sort of malfunction, I guess in retrospect, I should have bailed out immediately. <laughs> instead of trying to uh, put the fire out. I mean, we're right over our airfield, so I kind of wanted, I'm more inclined to try to save the aircraft, but I suppose with the 262, that was a bad decision. Um, wow. I guess we kind of died how I expected to, uh, killing ourselves with those very temperamental engines. It's unfortunate we never got to transfer squadrons or anything like that, but um, it was still a lot of fun. I do want to, uh, combat report. Do you want to finish this out? See how everyone did. Continue with claims. Obviously, we are dead. <laughs> so, we have no victories claimed. Submit that report. Start debrief. Okay. Quite a bit happened here. An ME-262A of KG-51 was brought down by Flight Lieutenant Aldis, a 56 Squadron and a Tempest. Another Tempest was brought down by a Falk Wolf, so they did something. Another Tempest was brought down by an ME-262. A Tempest was brought down by the Anti-Aircraft. A Tempest was brought down by Anti-Air. Another Tempest was brought down by Anti-Air. A Tempest was brought down by Anti-Air. Okay, another Tempest was brought down by a Falk Wolf A-8. 109 crashed, and then me, Wolfgang, crashed. Apparently, that's what they're considering it, and he was killed in action. Um, start debrief. Okay, debrief complete, I mean. Okay, so Reinhard Salser, that was our flight leader. He was captured, and then I was killed in action. Next page. 
Um, Tenet Volker Zeidler has been seriously injured in combat with the enemy forces. Uh, Reinhold was brought down behind enemy lines. And I was killed right over our own airfield by an engine malfunction. Someone got an Iron Cross. Lots went on today. But unfortunately for Wolfgang, that is the end of the war. Um, yeah, I was surprised by that result. Obviously, I don't have very much experience in the 262 and with its engine management. I am... I, I'm telling you, I did the exact same thing I did with engine number two, and it spooled up just fine. So I don't know. I guess that just shows the temperamental nature of these uh, 262 engines. So anyway, I I do hope you all enjoyed the series. I do want to quickly thank Raptor Attacker once again for making the skins for the series. Unfortunately, we never ended up using the winter skin, but... Uh, maybe maybe I'll show it off in a video or something sometime soon because it is beautiful work. Um, but thank you very much for that. And, and uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the series. Let me know what you want to see next. I have to say the series did last slightly longer than I expected. I did not expect to last very long in the 262 given its uh, volatile nature. But um, it was fun nonetheless to fly around and... Uh, get ourselves killed in. <laughs> uh, the writing was on the wall at the beginning of this episode anyway, with all those tempests just swarming us and throwing our mission off. It just did not go to plan at all. And um, just the sheer amount of tempests. I, I have to go back and see how many there were, but that, that was just an absurd amount of enemy aircraft following us and hunting us, uh, waiting for us to run out of fuel on land. I'm trying to think, like, what would have caused that uh, the only difference between engine one and engine two was engine one was low on fuel or lower on fuel. So that may have caused a problem, but again, I have no idea. I am welcome. <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling soon. I promise, but I'm happy to hear, uh, hear explanations for that. If any, if you know what happened, I don't, I may try to recreate that, replicate those results as well. Um, and just an ME262 and see, but yeah, engine management in the 262 is is interesting, to say the least. But Anyway, I'm really bad at ending series. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was fun to fly probably the most sophisticated aircraft uh, Great Battles has to offer. So um, I do have some ideas for future series. We'll see what, uh, what the future holds. But anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all next time.